So this is the second story from House of Secrets, number 81, from September 1969. Okay. Script by Bill Drute. And it's the first able appearance in this story in House of Secrets. And one month following the first appearance of Abel in DC special number four. Quiet peace night begins to shroud the scene in its comforting folds. And yet all is not over. All is not yet over for the house of secrets. Well, that's the story, Mr. Abel. There's the house up ahead. Kentucky State Line curve. This is it. Sure you still want to accept the job, Mr. Abel? Uh, yes, yes, I think I can handle it caretaking runs in the family you know my brother mr abel i'm just i'm not the least bit interested in your family tree and neither i'm sure is our anonymous employer anonymous then you don't know who he is either of course not i got an unsigned letter instructing me to buy the house and surrounding lands i'm as much in the dark as you house of secrets It's so quiet, like a tomb. It might well be. There are many things about this house only hinted at. Like that room on the second floor. Remember, you're never to enter that room. Never. Uh, what have you got in here? Bricks? No. No books stories are a hobby of mine you might say yeah i know it runs in the family oh what's that shadow above looks like a silhouette of a person maybe is that all horns on him There are 42 rooms in this house. You're responsible for all of them, except of course, for the one on the second floor. Quiet, Goldie, not now. What, eh? Did you say something, Mr. Abel? And then Abel says, quiet, Goldie, not now. What? Oh no, nothing, he <laughs> he just talking to myself yeah well in a place like this he says hey did did you hear i i hello abel i yeah ah oh, look at this it's cane it's cane hope i didn't frighten you little brother Cain, you frightened me no no not at all sure abel who were you talking to when i came in don't tell me you still talk to that imag imaginary friend of yours goldie no that was the re that was a re real <laughs> realty agent who brought me here see 
What? Real realty agent? What do you mean? What realty agent? That one over there? <laughs> oh. Ah. Kane, Kane, look at him. Look at him. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Kane, look. <laughs> Still laughter. Look at what little brother? <laughs> Just laughter into the night. Oh, who's that person in the cemetery? <laughs> He, he became part of the house. He, he, he was always a part of the house. What are you raving about, Brother Abel? Cain asks. Don't you see? Didn't you see what happened? I saw nothing except you turn into a quivering coward. But then you always were a milk, milk sop. No, no. I saw it happen, I saw it. And I'm not a milksop, Cain. I'm not a coward. R all right, little brother. If you're not, prove me wrong. Burn this house, text story. brother if you're not prove me wrong I will I'll show you up Kane a story that's how do you remember how we used to try to scare each other as kids with stories well I'll tell a tell a story that'll chill even your cold heart a coward am I <laughs> So that's how it begins. The storyteller, Cain and Abel. <laughs> 